Well, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. Well, actually, it's uh, what is it? It's about 125 on Saturday afternoon, and we're recording from outside the church today. It's hot inside the church, and we're out here in the shade, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't pass out, eh, Paul? Whatever. Yeah, so we got uh, some hymns. You know, we've been, this is, I think, uh, week 17 of uh, what a friend of mine in the States has dubbed COVID Tide. So 17 COVID Tide we find ourselves in. And we've been doing, uh, I think we've been doing pretty well. We, we, we've had a, a, some variety. We've been doing it from my house. We've been doing it from inside the sanctuary. Today, today we're outside. Uh, there have been many weeks we've sent out bulletins to people. We didn't send one out this week. We thought we'd sort of, you know, have kind of an informal type sort of time together today. And uh, last week, I, I asked for your hymns. I said, send some hymns in. And uh, boy, did people ever send hymns in. Lots came by email. Lots came by Facebook. And I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. I wanted to see, you know, what other folks, you know, who are not United Church, or at least not Rothwell United Church, what their favorite hymns were. So I put it out there on the United Church Facebook group. And I got, uh, would you believe, Paul, I got somewhere around 125, 126 responses. 126 people from across the country sent to me what their favorite hymns are. And a lot of them are the same as what you chose, and some of them, some of them are different. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Well, United Churches across the land for a long, long time began with this particular hymn. This is Holy, 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 number 315. We're going to do verses, uh, verses 1 and 4. 1 and 4. as good a call to worship as, uh, as any. What number is next, Paul says? Well, we're going to sort of do it uh, this way. Let's do, uh, uh, we'll do uh, 509 next. 509. Well, that's our call to worship. Holy, holy, holy. Like it is, uh, it, it makes sense. We're gathering ourselves together and, uh, and, and worshiping God. Next, we're going to sing number 509, Here I Am, Lord. This one was one of the more popular ones. Uh, many of you chose Here I Am, Lord. 509. Now that's some that's dear to, dear to my... We sang this in seminary all the time, and it kind of made sense. We're going to sing, uh, well, I don't know, let's do one and three, and there's like a refrain, right? Yep. You just lead me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> in the night 
I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. I had will sing. Finest bread I will provide Till their hearts be satisfied I will give my life to them Who shall I send? Here I am, Lord It is I, Lord I have heard you calling in the night I will go I will hold your people in my heart. Oh man, thank you, Paul. All right. Well, let's move on. Let's do um, Lord of the Dance, number 352. Let's see. There's lots of verses to this one. But we'll, uh, it's, it's five verses. Isn't it? Five verses. Well, let's do one. Let's do one, four, and five. I like to ham it up for number four a little bit. So uh, let's make sure we're still rolling. Yeah, we're still rolling. I'll just play the first line. You play the first line, and then I'll, uh, so I dance. Just a second. The wind is clean. You need some paper clips. Come on, there, folks. Stay there now. Right this way. There we go. When the world was begun And I danced in the moon And the stars and the sun And I came from heaven And I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he I'll lead you all wherever you may be I will lead you all in the dance, said he Verse 4 I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black To dance with the devil on your back They buried my body and they thought I'd gone But I am the dance and I still go on Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be. I will lead you all in the dance, said he. They cut me down and I leap up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I'll live in you if you live in me. The dance, said he. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. I'll lead you all wherever you may be. I will lead you all in the dance, said he. Um, that's a fun one, eh? Okay, different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's uh, let's move on. Let's let's the next one. Um, should come as no surprise to you. This is not an order of popularity. I thought we'd just sort of take kind of general impressions. And, and one that came in uh, a few times was Amazing Grace, number 266. And you know, I thought about bringing the screen out here, but I didn't even know if you'd be able to see it uh, because of the brightness and all that. So um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sort of like, you know what we should do, Paul? We should we should just get everyone to drop by the church and take hymn books home with them. That's something we could do. Uh, Bob, well, it's too late now for tomorrow, but you'll get the gist of it. Two sixty six. What do you want to do, Paul? Let's do. Uh, 
Let's do one, three, and five. You know, that hymn was not in our 1971 hymn book that was shared with the Anglican Church. I don't know why they left it. Why'd they leave it out, Paul? Don't ask. They left it out. And then it came back in 1995 when this book came out. And when this book came out, it was controversial, wasn't it? People were like, oh, none of the old hymns are in there, they said. But Amazing Grace is in there. How Great Thou Art is in there. It sings songs that we hadn't been able to sing for a long time ended up making the cut. So I'm glad that one's back. It kind of had a resurgence. In the, the, music, last, the music is 1831. Yeah. And it was, everyone sang it, and then it was gone for a generation. And then when it made it back into this book, it took off again. So there you go. Amazing grace. Uh, let's do How Great Thou Art, number 238. That one showed up time and time again. 238 and uh, sung... Best, the definitive singer of this song we understand was uh, George Beverly Shea in the from, early 50s. from the 50s, and he was from Winchester. Born in Winchester, yeah. Yeah. And he was with Billy Graham a lot. So we'll do one, one, three, and four. Thou art. 
and sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, and sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. Well, let's uh, let's shift gears. Let's have a psalm, Psalm 91. This was requested specifically first by Neil Johnstone, number 91. Paul, do you remember? It was, gosh, it might have been 10 years ago. And I, I had been to a presbytery meeting, and I heard a, a friend of mine, Reed Sherman, sing this as kind of like a cantor. He was singing the uh, what they call the metrical met, metrical version. Anyway, the one the one that's like a song. And I thought, well, that'd be kind of fun for me to sing on Sunday morning for the folks at Rothwell. And uh, I tried it, and I couldn't do it because I it's tricky. It's a little tricky, isn't it, when you're a singing? A little bit, yes. So um, I don't know, Paul. I think you knew I wasn't up to the task. And you, you, you dragooned Joy Johnstone into the, the picture to help me. And she ended up singing it for me. And uh, I'm glad she did. This was one of her favorites. So Neil requested it today. And I thought, well, I'm, uh, I'm not going to try the metrical version. But I thought, let's, let's do the, the chorus at least as the song. So, um, so we'll sing it through. I'll, I'll you read, the, read the rest of it then? I'm going to read the rest of it, and we'll just do it as the refrain. Okay. So, so you're on page... Um, page 807. 807. Yeah, okay. 807. scripture this week is Psalm 91. You who dwell in the shelter of your God, you abide in God's shadow for life. Say to your God, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust. The snare of the fowler will never capture you, and famine will bring you no fear. Under God's wings, your refuge, God's faithfulness, your shield. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of my hand. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Though thousands fall about you, near you it shall not come. For to the angels is given a command to guard you in all your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against stone. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of my hand. Because they have set their love upon me, I will deliver them. I will uphold them because they know my name. When they call to me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and bring them to honor. With long life, I satisfy them and show them my saving power. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, Make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of my hand. Oh man, I'm getting thirsty. Oh, I'll power through. I should have brought some water out. Anyway, anyway, we'll power on through. Mentioned a few minutes ago that uh, I'm going to look it up on my phone. Uh, that I put this out to the wider United Church to see what uh, 
what 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 they what they like as well. And I just gotta find it. I gotta find it here on uh, on my device. I'm looking for it. This is really exciting television here. Let me try it a different way. Um, the United Church of Canada. Going to go to our groups. You know, it's funny how I can find anything I'm looking for right away but as soon as we get into this uh, oh there we go there we go there we go there we go favorite hymn so what I wrote to them last week it's just on Wednesday um, I said good morning beloved UC Sears I'm running an experiment I've asked my congregation what their favorite hymns are and I'd like to compare that list to the favorite hymns of folks who are not part of our congregation so what are your favorite hymns? If possible, please select it from our two current hymn books. Boy, did I ever get a lot of comments. I got like hundreds of them. And I'm just going to give you a sampling of it. Oh, and then a friend of mine, uh, Sarah Rogers, she says, ooh, these lists are fun. For more voices, I would say, come, O Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, set our hearts on fire. Um, she said, jazzy tune. Voices United, she said, number 460, All Who Hunger. Sally Tuffin. Sally was part of my congregation in Spencerville and Roebuck, and she suggested I, the Lord of Sea and Sky. Uh, Lillian Thomas, um, she suggested Lord of the Dance. For Christmas, her favorite was What Child Is This? Um, my Love Colors Outside the Lines from Catherine Guthchar. Actually, we know Catherine. She's from Ottawa. Um, I Danced in the Morning. Joy Comes with the Dawn. Um, Kathleen Grady Thompson says, Joy Comes with the Dawn. She calls it her dishwashing him. Her dishwashing him, Paul. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Paul. Um, See a humba. That was another one that people liked. Uh, My love colors outside the lines. Again, uh, we are pilgrims on a journey. 595. We just sang that not too long ago. Be thou my vision. Lord of the dance again. I the Lord of sea and sky again. In the bulb there is a flower. That's one of my favorite ones too. We, we could have sung that one this week. But anyway, that, we'll, we'll save it. There is a green hill far away. Let us build a house uh, deep in our hearts. Deep in our hearts there is a da da. We've sung that one before, eh? That's a nice one. Uh, Be thou my vision. I, the Lord of sea and sky. We just sang that. How great thou art. An oldie but a goodie, Allison Duncan says. It goes on and on and on and on. Um, so a lot of it's the same. Church in the Wildwood. That's not, that's not in our hymn books, but, you know, it's kind of along the veins of... Uh, uh, I walked. Uh, I come to the garden alone, right? Same kind of. Yeah, the summary one. Yeah, same kind of job. We're gonna do. I come to the garden in a few minutes. So, How great I art! Here I am, Lord. I the. So a lot of them are the same, which I think is kind of cool. You know, I I, I think that in the United Church there is uh, kind of a kind of a culture that has emerged over time. And uh, but the one that I one that I really like is my love colors outside the lines. And. I mean, I love doing music. I'm not a musician, not really. I'm, I'm somebody, uh, how do you put it? Somebody who plays at guitar rather than somebody who plays guitar. Not, I'm not, you know, there's a reason why I'm not a music minister. So, but one of my favorites is My Love Colors Outside the Lines. And that is number 138 of More Voices. And... guitar song. So I'll just give you the first verse. My love colors outside the lines Exploring paths that few could ever find Takes me into places that I've never been before and open doors to worlds outside the 
the lines And we'll never walk on water If we're not prepared to drown Body and soul Need a soaking from time to time And we'll never walk the great stones If we're not prepared to die And realize There are were worlds outside the lines First verse again. My love colors outside the lines. Exploring paths that you could ever find. That takes me into places where I've never been before. And open doors to worlds outside the lines. And we'll never walk on water. from time to time And we'll never move the great stones if we're not prepared to die and realize there are worlds outside the land And I think that song is really popular in United Church circles because it's what we're all about. It's about coloring outside the lines. It's about living outside of our boxes, and that's what Jesus taught us to do. Jesus was never, ever comfortable with people's comfort zones. He challenged his people, and he challenges us to move beyond what's familiar, move beyond what's comfortable, move beyond who we are comfortable with, to get out there and meet the world and, and get ourselves pushed. And you know, Paul, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not happy this whole COVID thing happened. I'm not at all. But you know, there's grace within it. There's peace within it. And there is learning within it. And we have learned to think about church differently. We've learned to think about our services differently. And because we're online, we've, we've learned, I certainly learned that there are people participating in church services, not just ours, although there are people participating in our church services that never, ever went through these doors. But in general, people are coming to faith in a different way, and they're leading us. They're taking us outside of our comfort zones and into theirs. And the church... If the church is going to be the church, it's going to follow Jesus wherever he leads us. And Jesus sometimes leads us through people who aren't a part of us. And if we think that if only our ideas, if only our way of doing church, if only our way of carrying and following and embodying the gospel, if we think that only our way is the way to go, then we've made idols of ourselves. And that's, that's a sin. It's a sin because it separates us from the will of God. And I always have believed that there's a party out there, that there's love out there, and there is grace and fun and life to be found in places that we can't possibly imagine because we are limited in ways that God is not. So if we really believe that God lives in all of us, by definition that means that God lives in others. And if we don't follow others where God is leading them, we're not following God. And what is it we're doing, Paul? We're spinning our wheels. And none of us want to do that. It's too much fun to be had, too much love to be shared. And that's what this song is all about. My Lord colors outside the lines, turns wounds into blessings, water into wine, and takes me into places where I've never been before and open doors to worlds outside the lines. And then it goes, my soul longs to color outside the lines. Tear back the curtains, sun come in and shine. I want to walk beyond the, beyond the boundaries where I've never been before, throw open doors to worlds outside the lines. And that's why this song is so popular in the United Church culture is because that's what I hope we're all about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I want to thank everybody who requested that. Now we've sung this before in church. We did it twice last September, September 29th. So you might remember it. I hope you do. I got the PowerPoints to prove it, though. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, we've done How Great Thou Art. Oh, let's go to Epiphany. Let's do uh, I Am the Light of the World, number 87. 
I want to make sure we're still recording though, because if we're not recording and I just did all of that, I'm going to be so mm -hmm. upset. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. Wow, geez, from this angle, you can really tell, eh? You know, I used to have a full head of hair, Paul. You're of that age. Yeah. All right, well. I used to at one time, too. What's the alternative of being this age? I don't know. Yeah, being no age, so. What's the old saying? Every day I wake up on this side of gra the grass is a good day? Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, um, 87, I am the light of the world. And we'll do a... We'll just do one and four for this one because it's got a refrain. My rich baritone. That's where I live. Uh, the light of the world. You people come and follow me. If you follow and love, you'll learn the mystery of what you were meant to do and be. That's kind of the theme of going outside boundaries. Yeah, that works. That's ah, fine. When the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the shepherds have found their way home, the work of Christmas is begun. I am the light of the world. You people come and follow me. <laughs> if you follow and love, you'll learn the mystery of what you were meant to do and be. To bring hope to every task you do, to make a baby's new birth, to make music in a young person's heart and sing to the colors of the earth. I am the light of the world You people come and follow me If you follow and love You'll learn the mystery Of what you are meant to do and be You know, Paul, I never got an email from you About what your favorite hymn is So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the spot uh, we're sort of I'm in the busy reading. Don't be on the spot. For I'm gonna no, no, no. What's your what's what's a favorite Christmas one of yours? Oh, probably um, Joy to the World. Joy to the World. That's number 58, what? 58 or nine. If he already knows the number, you know it's one of your favorites. Fifty-eight. It's nope, it's not. It's fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Uh, we'll do one and four. I think you know this one. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> well, it's one of my favorite ones because we always sing it last uh, Christmas Eve, eh? Yeah, it's kind of a blow up the church, blow up the organ type, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll do one and four. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive our King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. He rules the earth with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glories of His righteousness, and wonders of His love, and wonders of His love, and wonders and wonders of His love. There you go. That's the rich baritone. Our next one is uh, one that was requested a couple of times. We saw it in the United Church, the wider United Church list, and it was actually requ it was requested by Andrea Clemens, I think. It's uh, number six hundred and twenty-four. 
Give us the laughter. And let's do uh, let's do one, one, three, and four. I it's a long time since. When was the last time we did this one? I can't remember. No, it's a good funeral one actually. Is it? Where are you doing? Well, I'll sing them. Uh, so one, one, three, and four. I gotta I gotta hear it through because I, I gotta remember it. You gotta jog my memory. a couple weeks ago we should have sung this we were talking about um when uh when they, when sarah laughed at the idea of uh, of isaac being born and you know what i that's the best you know if i didn't have this in my life why do we worry that we will lose face why act like king for the whole human race look you know paul if every time i lost face i like fretted about it you know like crazy i i don't know i i don't think i could i don't think i'd be in this business <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't survive a Sunday, hardly. No, no, and you gotta laugh at it. Laughter is, uh, they say laughter is, uh, is tragedy plus time equals laughter. I think that's true, you know. Mel Brooks, one of the funniest people who ever lived, talked about, somebody said to him, well, how can you, how can you, can you laugh and make fun of, of some of the things in history that, uh, that is your subject matter? And he says, if you don't laugh at evil, evil wins. Yeah. I think that's true. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I laugh, I laugh a whole lot. And I, you know, it's funny. Um, I I talk about this with with folks around when it comes time for uh, memorial services and funerals. And and you know, one thing that struck me after 21 years of of doing this is that whenever you see a, a funeral on TV, it's it is so different from real life. You know, you ever you know what I mean, Paul? They come in and the music's always so sad, and everybody's wearing black, and they go long drawn looks on their faces everybody does but that's not a way they are that's a state look yeah for a state funeral yeah but yeah. around here when we have a service in this church for somebody one of our beloved there's always a lot of laughter yeah. and there's always a lot of joy and that's good you know that's that's thanksgiving you know and and so it's not like we're doing it wrong i, th I think we're doing it right we, there's tears of course because that's the human condition right grief is natural but you know laughter this is this is a good one you know what we'll, we'll we'll keep this in our pocket you can sing that when i cope because i don't laugh very much yeah but you make us laugh you got a sense of humor come on you, you gotta everybody knows you got a sense of humor okay so our next one we're gonna go we're gonna go way back in time to uh an oldie an oldie but a favorite you know we should have uh, garth hampson here to sing this one because he boy does he ever do this one justice we're going to do uh, I Come to the Garden Alone. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear Dwelling in my ear The Son of God discloses And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known I stay in the garden with him though the night around me is falling and he bids me go to 
the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. There you go. All right, let's do uh, let's let's do the old rugged cross next. We gotta fix something first, though. You turned on. I'm turned on. Yep, the old rugged cross. I gotta find it. I gotta find the words. The old. We'll do one in four. Cause I think I think we're closing in here, closing in on the hour. On a hill, ways that an old rugged cross, an emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down And I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown To the old rugged cross I will never be true It's a shame and reproach gladly Someday to my home far away Where his glory forever I'll share And I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down And I'll cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it one day for a crown Oh, I had to get down low for that one, Paul. There you go. There's the rich baritone. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I think uh, I think it's time for us to take a little pause. And um, I don't I don't have any announcements for this week except that uh, last I heard, there were a handful of pies left. Just a handful of left. So contact Marg for the pies. And I think uh, the email address for Marg went out on the mass email this week. So there's that. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to say announcement wise. Uh, prayer wise, continue to pray for the folks we've been praying for. I do have a sad announcement. Um, Reed Killens, uh, mom passed away. Um, and so we're certainly praying for, for them. And we'll, uh, we'll look forward to seeing Reed and Jam when they come back next week. Uh, so I hope to connect with them. But, but prayers for Reed. And prayers for Jen, prayers for all of them. Um, well, I think we're in the home stretch, Paul. And let's uh, let's do a verse of Jesus Loves Me, 365. Now, I remember that number. It's Jesus Loves Me, 365. Jesus Loves Me, 365 days a year. What do you do on leap year then? Well, he loves me. The, yeah, I guess maybe that's when he takes a break from me. <laughs> <laughs> I never leave him alone. <laughs> Uh, 365. Three verses? Ah, we'll just do first and last, and then we'll do What a Friend We Have in Jesus, then we'll blow the doors out with, uh, Will Your Anchor Hold? Okay. That works. Do a hold for you? Ah, uh, we'll find out. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're ready. Okay. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. In his love we shall be strong. Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me.
Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me still today, walking with me on my way, wanting as a friend to give light and love to all who Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Well, I see it. I'll get it. Don't worry. I'll get it. It's going to blow. Thank you. Okay, Jesus loves me. Boy, let's see. Now we're going to try what a friend we have in Jesus. Second last one. Penultimate one. What number is that one? I don't Boy. know. Uh, 664 maybe? No. I'm just, I don't know if I just made that up. I think they're also close to being... Hey, it's 664. What do you know? 664. One in three. I guess I'm too low for you, eh? It's pretty low. Well, I can put it back up. Put it back up. Meanwhile, I'll, uh, I'll say thank you, everyone, for your offerings this week. That's greatly appreciated uh, for the ministry of the congregation. The Garden, on Wednesday morning, we're having our first harvest in the Garden. Wednesday morning, 9 o'clock. And I, I believe there's lettuce. There might be some green peppers and kale. So, well, there are green peppers. Go take a look. I can grow a bit. Well, well, it's the garden, Paul. They're going to do what they're going to do. Anyway, so Wednesday, wet blanket over here. Wednesday morning, 9 o'clock, come on over. Uh, social distance, wear your masks. And we're going to do a little video to celebrate the first fruits, the first harvest. 664, 1 and 3. What a friend we have in Jesus. Sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Is there covered with load of care? Christ the Savior is our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do our friends despise, forsake us? Are we tempted to despair? Jesus' strength will shield our weakness, and we'll find new courage there. Amen. Thank you, Paul. All right. Will your anchor hold? What number is that? Gotta look it up. I'm glad you raised it. Five hundred one or two. Will your anchor hold? Would you believe six seventy-five? A little closer. Yeah. <laughs> How many of them you want to do? I will do one and four. I'm thir you thirsty? No. Well, you're not singing. I'm singing. Number one and four. Maybe we should do long. <laughs> Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold their wings of strife? When the dark don't turn a cable string? Will your anchor drift or farm remain? We have an anchor that keeps the soul Steadfast and sure while the billows roll Fastened to the rock which hell not move Grounded for the deep till the Savior's love. Will our eyes behold the gathering night? Will the dainty of gold our harbor bright? Will the anchor fast on the heavenly shore? Will the storms all pass forevermore? We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roar. Fasten to the rock which shall not move. 
rounded, firm, and deep, turn the Savior's love. Amen. Well, everybody, thank you for that. And uh, we'll stitch this all together and see what it looks like. But in the meantime, be gentle with yourselves. Be gentle with each other. God bless each and every one of you and everyone you love. And that includes the whole world. And, um, well, we'll figure out what we're going to do next week, eh? It's a journey. Amen, folks. Take care. Smile. Smile. Yeah. Oh, not yet. Smile for the camera. See you later, folks. <laughs>